Okay, so here we're dealing with Ohm's Law and circuits. So in this first circuit, we have a 10 volt power supply and a 5 ohm resistor, and we want to know what's the current. In order to solve for current, you need to know that the current is equal to the voltage divided by the resistance. And then you just plug in the value. So the voltage is 10 volts divided by the 5 ohm resistor. So you have 2 amps going through that circuit. Now let's go to the second problem. In the second problem, we have a, sec a 16 volt power supply. And we do not know what the resistance is. But we do know that the current is 2 amps. So in order to solve for the resistance, you need to know that the resistance is equal to the voltage divided by the current. And we have 16 volts go here, and the 2 amps come here. And then you divide that through, and you end up with 8 ohms. So the resistor is, has a value of 8 ohms. Now let's go into problem number 3. In problem number 3, we know the current and we know the resistance, but we don't know what the voltage is. In order to solve for the voltage, we need a different formula, which is the voltage is equal to the current times the resistance. Now, the current in this is 8 amps, and the resistance is 4 ohms. And so the voltage, this voltage supply, is 32 volts. Now, in this next problem, problem number four, we want to convert a 100,000 ohm resistor to, uh, to mega ohms. We want to know what is 100,000 ohms in mega ohms. So first you put down the 100,000, and then you just divide it by uh, a mega ohm, which is just a million, or 1 times 10 to the 6 which that's this right here. And that's going to give you 0.1 mega ohms. Now in the next problem, here we have a circuit and we know that the the volt the power supply is 100 ohms and the resistor is 500 ohms. So we want to know what's the current. So the current is equal to the voltage divided by the resistance which is equal to 100 volts divided by the 500 ohms which that's equal to 0.2 amps but we want to know what is it in milliamps so in order to, to get it into milliamps well we need to do a conversion we know that there is a thousand milli or milliamps in a single amp Sloppy. Oh well. So you just multiply that in, and we know that we have in the circuit a 0.2 amps. So that amp, uh, <coughs> cancels with that one, and we just multiply the thousand into the 0.2, which gives us 200 milliamps. So 200 milliamps is equal to 0.2 amps.